everybody. Welcome back to my beloved plants channel. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a plan with me for the month of July for my monthly spread in my classic happy planner. Um, so I went ahead and pulled out a lot of stickers. I'm using the um, holiday sticker book here um, and I have them pretty much all ready to go. I really want to use these fireworks um, in the majority of the spread and then I pulled out some other fun holiday um, things to match. So I went through my other sticker books as well and pulled out a lot of gold and stars and just some other things. I'm going to actually map out with this washi tape um, some of the, the bigger chunks of days that we have things going on. We've got the 4th of July stuff and then we also have a trip to Wisconsin Dells planned. So I'm going to be using those to um, get that all mapped out. So here I'm going to be mapping out the days that we are going up north um, for the 4th of July and my niece's birthday. So I'm using this red and silver star washi tape because I thought, oh, how much more festive can you get? So I'm mapping out those two days. Um, I was using my little X-Acto knife, but I found with the skinny washi that it sometimes was like bunching up. So I actually am going to show you guys a hack that I use a lot of times for my skinny washi to make it more... Um, straight and easy to, to cut. So I take my little metal ruler, it's actually my little sewing um, ruler, and I just line it up at that edge and then I just pull quickly and it cuts it perfectly most of the time. I'll say 99.9% .9 of the time. Next I'm going to block off with this gold um, slash wash skinny washi. Um, we're going to Wisconsin Dells so I wanted to block off those days just so when I'm looking at my month at a glance that it's really obvious as to where where we're like gone or busy and whatnot um, so I thought this would be a, an easy way to do it and map it across multiple days Alright, so next I'm going to cover up this sticker that I previously put in my monthly planner. When I first got it, I got real sticker happy and decided I wanted um, to just start putting stickers in. So I'm going to go ahead and cover it up here with this gold star um, rectangle sticker. And I'm going to cut it down just so that it lines up with that edge. So I'm going to use my X-Acto knife here. And I ended up having a little bit of an issue with my X-Acto knife um, getting it. It was kind of loose, so I got that all tightened up and got that all covered. All right, now next I'm gonna start adding in some of my embellishments and fun words here. I'm gonna put this fireworks sticker here in the 4th of July box since we'll be watching some fireworks. And um, I've got this fun gold live loud sticker um, that I'm gonna put in one of those blank boxes. Thought that's appropriate for the 4th of July and all those loud fireworks. I also found this cute um, gold quote, so I'm gonna put that down here in the bottom. Um, of that corner. All right, next I'm going to start putting on these firework bursts. Um, I really wanted these to be like along the top as if they're kind of bursting down into the sky. Um, and then I'm going to put some along the bottom too and then sprinkle the little stars that match um, just kind of down throughout the layout.
All right, so now I've got all my fireworks placed and I'm gonna start adding in some other embellishments um, to use throughout the page here. Kind of trying to use some of those leftover pieces. Um, I also cut all of my fireworks and so then I use like every single little um, piece to just kind of fill all that in. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys just watch here. All right, next I'm gonna use these colorful boxes. I love using these in my monthly and weekly layouts um, because it gives me a way to kind of write the different events that I have going on throughout the month on there. Alright, so here's how my finished spread turned out. Um, I did add in a couple more little boxes and whatnot, um, but I am really excited about all the gold and fun, festive colors that are showing here. So thank you so much for joining me today, and don't forget to subscribe and click that like button.